What was the, the other piece? To, to the Spirit Unconquered. To the Spirit, yeah. That piece has been my most to date successful piece, meaning that it's been played all over the place. And, and audiences who think they're going to hate this modern music love it. And it's grisly. It's very, very, very dissonant. But, and I took for it a program uh, that I was inspired by Primo Levi's The Awakening and Survival of Auschwitz, those two little thin little books. And I maybe uh, even uh, took some optimism that isn't there in Levy. Um, but uh, it's really about the first movement is the, the you know, imagining getting off on a train station and being there and the terrible fear and terror that one would be seized with. And it's about controlling your fear and your terror. So these incredible outbursts. And then him saying you know, he knew that if he didn't control his fear, then he would perish instantly. And then the second movement is, is in the camps, they would talk about sweetness of, you know, they would talk about Shabbos meals and their families and, and evoke sweetness. So in the second movement, I evoke this kind of sweetness as in a dream, and the title of the second movement is As If in a, if in a Dream. And the third movement is a kind of a scherzo, I call it my scherzo bar bar. It's a sort of dance of the barbarians in the sense that prisoners, by looking at the prison keepers realized that, I mean, the Jews were always, the Germans said the Jews were barbarians. What was really the German, Germans who were acting like barbarians. So the Jew, by perhaps understanding the difference, the spirit is able to keep its own dignity. The fourth movement, the tune from the second movement comes back, and it's also very transcendent. The dissonance of the dark chord kind of dissipates. And the spirit, the piece is called to the spirit unconquered, and it's really about that in spite of it, the spirit can survive.